Hey everyone, for the sake of time, as you know me, I like to keep things short, so I'm going to talk a little quick here. Please like, comment, share below what you like about this video. I can go into more depth, but I just want to touch on some basics of how to stay committed to your diet and how to find something that works for you and how to keep on track. The biggest thing I'm going to say is meal prepping. Give yourself variety. Every week I cook beef, I cook seafood, and I cook chicken. I have those three, so that way I always have something different. I can eat however I feel like eating. If I want to eat chicken every day for every meal, I can, but I'm keeping them very basic, and what I'm doing is I'm doing protein, vegetable, and then I add the fats myself individually to each one. And by mostly eating that way, my eating style is very consistent. Also, Keep in mind, protein powder is not horrible for you. Yes, you want to eat whole foods most of the time. But having a protein powder is going to keep you very high um, in uh, the protein. And it's going to keep you a lot lower in the other things. And it's going to keep you within a lower calorie range. And when you're trying to lose weight, you really want to keep those deficits. So it will help you do that a little bit quicker. Not that you have to do protein powders forever. But if you're finding a good one, they're not horrible either, and it's better than other choices, and it's better than being frustrated. So, and you can vary. You don't have to do that every day. You can do that some days. Um, but just keep in mind that's an option for you because sometimes, you know, we get busy and it's just easy to do, and that way I'm not consuming a ton of calories. So that's something to keep in mind, that I probably do protein powder about once a day probably, if not twice. So um, that's something that you can do to help yourself with those calories if that's something you feel like doing if you tend to overeat. That way it's a prepped meal, it's all together. I don't have to think if I ate an extra bite of this or not, it's the protein bar, I eat the protein bar, it's over. I know everything that's in it. So it makes life very easy for planning on a busy day. So that's that now I want to talk to you about how to like stay committed on your diet well a lot of us the reason why we have trouble is when I was trying to lose weight before is I had no consistency so every week I was kind of doing something a little bit different and I would think I would know it's working and think I'd get it and I didn't or when something's working don't change it whatever you ate that week eat the exact same and a lot of the fitness people and stuff I follow they don't pay away, pay attention to calories so much. I mean, that is part of it, but they follow macros because it's the combinations of foods that usually excel you or deter you. You know, too much dairy can cause a bunch of different things for multiple reasons. People struggle with dairy, the sugars in dairy, you know, the carbohydrates, the thing that like, this is fatty, fatty stuff. This is meant, not that fats are bad. I obviously eat fat, I'm keto. But if you're over consuming dairy, you know, that was made for like baby cows and for growth. So it makes sense that you might put on a little bit more weight with that because of the way the chains are broken down in your body. So being careful with the fats or you can't eat high fat if you're going to do high carb. The combination doesn't work well. And it depends on your sensitivity to fats and carbohydrate. Of course, you're not going to lose weight because if you're very if your body's sensitive to those things, if you're doing full fat dairy and you're doing carbs, it's not going to be good for you. Just for example, for yesterday, I dropped five pounds last week. Well, yesterday I decided to eat a piece of birthday cake at work with one of the girls, a small piece, but I am up one pound today. Now, it's not up a pound in fat, it's a pound of fluid and it's going to come off tomorrow. But that shows you right there that eating a little bit of carbs and sugars and fats they don't go well together for some people, even though I ate extremely low calorie yesterday. It does not matter. I will go up. So with keto, it's not that I was super excited to never eat carbs again. Or Yeah, carbs again. Like, who doesn't love bread? I love bread. I love potatoes. I love fruit. I mean, who doesn't? And that's exactly the problem is I love those things. So it's easy to overdo them for my body because I'm extremely sensitive. And I'm hoping eventually I'll kind of heal my metabolism where eating those things is a little bit easier for my body. But right now, it's not. So, I just said for two months, two months, I'm going to give myself the full benefit of eating the exact same way 
for two months and I'm going to follow this to a T. I'm not going to eat out. I'm not going to eat dairy. I'm not going to eat nuts. And I don't even think I did coffee. I think I did a couple times. But I ate very basic, very just a certain way. And I ate that way for two months straight. I took basically the exact same macros every single week. I did not deviate. Sure, they were a little bit different each week. I went to what I felt like doing. Sometimes I felt like chicken. Sometimes I felt like seafood. Sometimes I felt like beef. But I didn't try a little bit of dairy here or cheese there. Then after the two months, and I got myself used to eating keto, that's when I experimented each week. I added coffee back in. And I just, just for a whole week, did I gain weight? If I gained weight, I had to regroup. I did coffee only once a day or not. And then with coffee, then I started adding just one tablespoon of creamer every day and saw if it threw off my weight loss. If it didn't, I kept it. If it did, I went, nope, we go back to no, we know what, we know what works. And I do a whole week of just eating the way I knew that worked. And then I say, okay, I'm just going to try coffee three times a week. And I just barely put it in three times. I'm like, okay, that worked. That was fine. And then, you know, then I found out coffee works for me. That's okay. And then I tried adding cheese just one day of that whole week. And I was like, how did I do? And if I gained weight, I was like, mm, I'm not ready for that. And if I didn't, then I'd be like, okay. And then I tried it three times a week. And then if it didn't bug me, then I tried and did a little bit more. I was like, okay. And then when I wanted to try and add carbs back in, I tried doing a refeed just one time a week. Because a lot of times you guys are just overdoing it with things. It's not that you can't have them. It's just you're doing them too much. So then I'd wait for an entire week and I'd just do carbs one day. And yes, you're going to blow up. I went up about five pounds. But the thing is, that's fluid. You have to see how your body responds to it through the whole week. So if you eat it on Monday, you need to wait till like Saturday or Friday at least to judge what that did to you. So I'd eat carbs and I'd keep it low the rest of the week. And my body would be fine. And I'd find I still ended up losing weight. Even though I did initially go up that one day, I would actually burn it off the rest of the week. And by next week, it was completely gone and I would lose weight. And then I tried it twice. And then if I did that, I maintained weight, but I didn't lose weight. So I found eating carbs once a week. And then I found there were certain carbs I did better with, and, but only one time a week. But I still kept that basis. You know what your building block is? I know what it takes for me to lose weight. And then I can interchange things. Maybe I could do dairy this day, but then I can do carbs that day. I know I need to lower fats this day. And then you can play around with it and make your diet work for you. But first, you got to get used to doing the basic things. And don't change what's working. Don't change it. Keep with it. And that's where I see people lose weight and then they hit a stall. And it's because you started changing too much or adding too much back in. Keep very basic. It's so much easier that way. So this is really, really quick touching base. If you guys really like something or want to know more about how it was I lose weight or lost weight, exactly what I do on a weekly basis, let me know. But you guys know me. I like to keep the video short. So I'm done. I hope that helps you.